pleasant good evening, pleasant good afternoon, a pleasant good night, good morning, as the case may be, depending on the part of the world where you are located. As usual, it is always my pleasure to introduce you to another weekly YouTube presentation and to continue bringing to you the powerful messages that we know are affecting you from head to toe. Yes, we know our messages are affecting you from head to toe. And we know you'll be motivated to do something positive to make a difference in life. So as usual, I, Imo Ramises Makari, it is my desire for you to go higher. It is my desire for you to go higher so that you can unleash your fire. That is truly my desire. So welcome, welcome, welcome once again to another weekly YouTube presentation. And as usual, remind you of our services, our ongoing courses, our four-week public speaking course entitled The Fundamentals of Public Speaking, costing $1,200 for students and $1,800 for the general public. Our four-week course entitled Mastering Emotional Intelligence and Becoming Emotionally Resilient valued at $1,800 for students and $2,500 for the general public. You can also partake in groups of five at $7,500 for groups of five where you will have a discount of $1,000 and you actually pay $1,500 per head. Or you can partake in our 10-week course entitled The Fundamentals of Psychology which costs $1,300. You can make a one-time payment, two parts, three parts, or four parts because we are committed for your participation in this course. We also encourage you to book a counseling or coaching appointment. We also encourage you to buy our book conversation by price of 100 TT, 15 United States dollars, or 45 EC dollars. Or you can conveniently contribute via the white pay link on our description page. What you got to do is give us a call at 1-866-778-5141, 1-866-779-2544, or email us at leadershipwithadifference at gmail.com. So, having reminded you of our services, as usual, we will now introduce to you a motivational word. And the motivational word today is that in the interest of giving our children a fighting chance, let us expose them to sex education at an early age. You know, in the interest of giving our children a fighting chance, let us introduce sex education at a very early age. The reason why I'm saying this to you is that the topic of sex is too much a, a taboo subject with too many negative connotations surrounding it. And many of our children are left to fend for themselves in understanding such an important area of life. So I'm saying sex education must be put on the front burner and all of us must play a responsible role in ensuring that our children are properly educated. So I've been giving you that word for you to reflect on. The topic for the, today is sexuality and you, and getting the terminologies right. As I said in the motivational word, whenever the word sex is mentioned, there's a very taboo subject that people tend to shy away from. But remember, when we talk about sexuality, it's an important area of our development that is not sufficiently explained so that people can really benefit in a way that will be useful for them. So when I talk about getting the terminologies right through this present, this first presentation and this topic here, it's very important because many people confuse terms and they also confuse themselves in a lot of ways surrounding this area. So first of all, what is sexuality? When we look at it, we can view it as a, a, a broad area of how people think feel and express themselves sexually at the biological level, at the psychological level, 
social, socially, spiritually, etc. So it's all embracing, all right, and it encompasses a, a wide frame of references that we need to really understand. So that is a broad umbrella term to start off with, all right. When we talk about uh, sexual orientation, so sexual orientation may be an aspect, is an aspect of sexuality, but it is not sexuality. It refers to who you are attracted to, whether the same sex or opposite sex. As we know, same sex attraction, we know that's a homosexual arrangement, uh, opposite sex, heterosexual, and there are so many different uh, new formats being introduced that it is not the mind is kind of you know making it difficult to keep up with these different frameworks but i'm just trying to get the terminologies right so sexual orientation refers to one's attraction either to the same sex or the opposite sex whether it's homosexual or heterosexual or whatever other version that you know is being introduced into the equation on a regular basis now, on forms, on different forms, the word sex and gender is used interchangeably. But the objective of this presentation, firstly, is to get the terminologies right. Now, when we talk about sex, we're not talking about sexual intercourse. Alright? So, some people, when they went, from the time they hear the word sex, they normally think sexual intercourse. But sex, has a different meaning in the sense that it is biologically determined. So when we're talking about the sex of a child, we are talking about the characteristics that determine their sex biologically. And the sex of the child is determined by the gonads. So a male child bearing a penis, we know it's a male child. A female child bearing a vagina, we know it's a female child and that is biologically determined right so when on a form they put gender that is a different meaning it is used interchangeably and sometimes many people overlook the true meaning of gender gender however is the characteristics of men women or children that are socially constructed now some of those constructions are very uh, traditional and are very, um, you know, how to put it, biased in the sense that they determine characteristics that will make someone uh, be male or female based on certain roles, based on certain norms that they will adopt, you know. So traditionally, and a lot of these things have changed, you know, when we talk about the gender in terms of male, right, they're talking about roles that the male will normally play. So in traditional societies, a key role of the male was as a bread earn, as a income earner, the breadwinner of the home. But we know that women are equally important in terms of being breadwinners, and in some cases they are the sole breadwinner. So it is not so much a male activity versus a female activity. And then we know traditionally when we talk about gender, you know, so we're talking about people having to break big boulders, we would normally think that it's a male activity, alright? Or people are going to climb a tree. But it is not necessarily so. And if a girl climbed a tree, we say the girl is a tomboy. So these roles are very uh, traditional. Or the woman, you know, doing more house chores. These things are more steeped in tradition because we know that depending on the dynamics of a family, that is not a male or a female um, arrangement. So if we look at tradition and if we look at what they have constructed. In other words, the fact that it has been constructed, it means that, you know, it's a created meaning in terms of what is considered the role of a male or the role of a female. So gender is more determined by the roles associated or the norms with what is considered male or female. And this discussion is important to add clarity so that people can better understand what they are saying and why they are saying it, all right? So we look at um, sexuality, we look at orientation, sexual orientation, we look at sex, we look at gender. 
Now, sexual intercourse is a different thing. It involves the activity of a male putting his penis into someone's vagina and that thrusting motion back and forth. So that is a different context altogether in terms of the different meanings I'm trying to convey here. But all the same, whether we look at the umbrella term of sexuality or all the other self elements I've identified so far, we need to educate people to better appreciate and understand this area because when that is not done, we need people to educate themselves of them through a friend who may not be providing the right kind of context or understanding. All right? So we need to break the taboo. We need to expose the information at an early age. I remember a doctor in Trinidad Tobago many years ago got a lot of fire from the public when he wrote a book called Sex for Seven Year Olds. He was not, he didn't write that book to introduce seven year olds to sex, but to introduce them to getting a knowledge about the natural uh, creation within all of us of this sexual energy that Sigmund Freud also alluded to in his theory, you know, in that it's a very natural, uh, biological determined uh, characteristic that we all bear, given the fact that, you know, we all were born with sexual hormones and depending on the rate of production, it tends to arouse our cell sexuality depending on that factor. But what I'm saying is that that education that the young ones require must be provided to them so that they can get a proper and healthy appreciation. So schools need to do more in terms of giving age-appropriate education from very young. The churches need to do more. The churches or, or other people in other fields just cannot tell the young people that they must abstain from sexual activity. Because remember, it's a very natural thing occurring and being attracted and feeling sexually aroused will happen and without education, it could be very dangerous. So you just cannot tell them as a young person in the church that to lift up your concerns to Jesus or lift up everything in prayer because more is required. So the church must have sexual education classes in addition to whatever other type of classes they may want to conduct in giving proper education to the young people to give them a fighting chance. The school must do more in terms of the structure of the curriculum and really get down into the nitty gritty in providing that kind of education. So I heard a very humorous story uh, uh, some time back where a father scolded his son for having an erection. Now, should that father be scolded? That father certainly requires a lot of education because he, is, he has a warped understanding of reality and the whole, you know, how the human body functions and responds. So, you know, he needs a lot of education, he needs a lot of uh, psychological reconfiguration to really understand about the body and its development because that certainly, that approach was certainly uh, uh, misconstrued in every possible way, all right? So, the basic message here is that we need to better appreciate and understand the terminologies surrounding sexuality and sex, gender, etc. We need to do more to educate people so that they can be you know, equipped in a healthy manner. Because if you leave the education up to peers, it may not be the best, as I said a while ago. If you leave it up to the internet, you know that many people may end up in a dark hole that they may never be able to come out of. So, my simple message to you, let us get the terminologies right. Let us put the structures in place for proper education. Let us make the subject a less taboo subject because the more we continue to do that, is the more pain and strain that many people will have to contend with. There is a saying, if you engage in any activity, be prepared to face up to the consequences. So when many people get involved sometime before they are prepared in sexual activity, the consequences they are not prepared for, whether at a physical level, whether at a psychological level, or whether at an economic level. So to help the society, to help the young ones, to help everyone, and to ensure that we can mature in terms of issues that are important for discussion, let us really remove the taboo 
Let us step up the education. Let us be more responsible. And do not leave your, your young female child to wonder if something is terribly wrong with them by experiencing their period without providing that education and knowledge and preparation from before. Do not scold your young children, your young boy children, if they experience an erection because it is very much part of life and how the body develops. Let us do better. We must do better. Let us get the terminologies right. Let us get our education right and help sexuality to be placed in a proper context so that it can benefit the young, the not so young, and everyone and society can be better for it. I know the message has resonated with you. I know you appreciate this topic that I have, that I have introduced and you will think deeply about it and change your approach if it is not in the best interest of development. So feel free as you normally do to subscribe to this channel. Feel free and like, comment and share this video. Continue to support our work by contributing through the wiping link on the description page. Buy our book conversation prior to the 100 TT 45 EC or 15 United States dollars. Uh, partake in one of our ongoing courses or book a counseling or coaching appointment. All you've got to do is give us a call at 1-866-778-5141, one 768 779-2544 or email us at leadershipwithadifference at gmail.com So in the meantime, between time, we know that you will rally with us. We know that you will encourage your friends and family to support this channel. Everyone who is within hearing or viewing of this video become a missionary on behalf of this channel. The messages are too important to leave it just to a selected group of people. So spread it far and wide and allow our channel to grow to the full extent that we are destined to. We thank you for your support and stay tuned for another powerful presentation next week, please God. Thank you.